image scaling. This setting adds additional upscaling and a bit of sharpening to your games that you are playing currently at the moment if you enable this setting. Now this adds upscaling in your game. So if you do not do any upscaling with your game by, let's say for instance, you play at 1080p, 1440p, 2K, whatever the case might be, and you play at your native resolution, keep this off. If you don't do any upscaling, turn this off. Do not turn it on. Right, ambient occlusion. This makes shadows and lighting more realistic and then dynamic inside your games and does unfortunately equal to having less FPS. So I definitely highly recommend that you go ahead and turn this off. This is my own personal recommendation. If you want to turn it on, that's your own recommendation on that. But trust me, you are going to lose FPS inside your game. Anastropic filtering, this is a filter that reduces blurriness and visual effects inside your game, which can reduce your FPS when doing so by turning it on. So I do highly recommend turning it off and you can gain FPS out of this. And like I said, this is for an FPS boost guide. So I highly recommend you go ahead and turn this off. Anti-analyzing modes. Now, all of these over here, what these modes do is that they help eliminate jagged edges in the game that you're currently playing and adding smoother filters so that your game doesn't have these jagged edges and stuff like that. But I highly do recommend to turn it off because you are going to start losing FPS if you turn this on. Background application, max frame rate. I highly recommend that you just go ahead and turn this off. If you do multitasking, like for instance, you are playing a game and I don't know, let's say you on Discord or whatever the case might be, and you are multitasking just in general, then you can go ahead and turn this on. But I do not recommend it, to be honest with you. I have this off and I still do multitasking. I still go on to Discord, check my YouTube channel while I'm playing games. So just go ahead and turn this off. CUDA GPUs, select your primary GPU. Obviously, you're going to go ahead and do that. Select your primary GPU. DSR Factor stands for Dynamic Super Resolution. This allows you to enjoy higher resolutions with lower resolution monitors. Now, I do not recommend to turn this on unless you know and you are very up to date with what DSR Factors does, right? Then I would recommend go ahead and turn this on and you can run your game at 720p but it will upscale it for you to about 1440p all the way to 2k but you need to be very well known with this factor so i highly recommend you go ahead and just turn it off if you do not know what you're doing or you do not use this at all and you're running a smooth frame rate and your game runs okay on the resolution that it's running at right now i highly recommend you just go ahead and turn this off low latency mode this is a mode that can heavily reduce latency in competitive games such as warzone 2 and it does this by removing rendering timings between your cpu and your gpu now, obviously, there is things in the way between your GPU and your CPU. Now, by turning this on or on ultra, depends on the machine that you're currently running. So if you're running a potato machine, put it on on. So let's say potato to mid-tier, put it on. If you have a very high-end machine, go ahead and put it on ultra. This will help your CPU and GPU talk to one another much, much better quicker trust me this does work so either put it on or put it on ultra and this is why low latency mode is available in the video control panel so take advantage of these settings ladies and gentlemen max frame rate this is an option that allows you to cap your fps or to max your fps out inside NVIDIA control panel. I do not recommend using this at all inside NVIDIA control panel because what it's going to do is it's going to cap your FPS to what you set it as inside your control panel. Turn this completely off and max your frame rate inside your games that you are playing. So for instance, Warzone 2, you're going to cap your FPS in there or you're going to uncap it. Whatever you're going to do, do not mess around with max frame rate. Just turn it off completely. Multi-frame rate sample AA is a type of anti-analyzing which I discussed earlier in what it does, all these, you know, anti-analyzing things. I highly recommend you just completely turn this off. You do not need this. It's very in-depth and complicated, this multi frame sample AA. I just highly recommend that you go ahead and turn it off. You do not need it. Open GL rendering GPU. This is a setting that allows you to choose your primary GPU. Just go ahead and choose your primary GPU and get it over with. Make sure that you select your primary GPU. Power management mode. All right. Now, a lot of people have 
a big debate over this. Now, I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you guys, and I'm going to give you my personal recommendation for this, all right? A lot of people have their own opinion on this. Now, either you're going to put this on performance or you're going to put this on maximum performance. I prefer maximum performance. It will give you more FPS. Now, this is what it does. This is this setting allows you to choose either to save power, so you can save power, and use optimal power, so you can save that little bit of power, but it's gonna give you less FPS, okay? Maximum performance, what it's gonna do is it's going to obviously use more power but it's going to give you more FPS. So I highly recommend you go ahead and use maximum performance. Shader cast size. This setting is related to your graphics card. And I highly recommend that you change this from default to 100 gigabytes if you are playing Warzone 2. Because this plays a very, very big role inside Warzone 2 settings, graphics settings. So in Warzone 2, you will put spot cache on high so you don't get any stuttering in your game fps loss while you're in the plane or jumping out of the plane this is why this option is here so that's all you're going to do texture filtering this allows you to decide if you prefer performance over quality it's your own personal preference i can't really tell you what to do with texture filtering but i do recommend that you either put this completely just off with my testings i highly recommend you just turn this off if you want more fps out of your games it, right you turn it off if you want more quality out of your games you can go ahead and turn this on now it's your own personal preference i'm not going to tell you what to do here all right next step is going to be just clamp don't worry about the setting it's very in depth i'm going to make this video way too long if i go too much in depth with the settings just put this on clamp you should be good to go test the filtering quality performance or high performance i personally recommend that you go ahead and choose high performance it will make your fps increase performance or high performance one of the two would be the best option for you right now at this very moment i highly recommend you just go ahead and put this on Threaded optimization. This setting allows you to control the use of multi-threaded optimizations for obviously multiplayer games. Now, what this does is it takes advantage of multiple cores, hyper-threaded CPUs. It takes advantage of this. Okay. So if you have hyper-threaded CPUs, I highly recommend you go and use the auto because if you use auto, what it's going to do is NVIDIA is going to decide automatically if it's going to benefit you or not. Virtual Sync, I highly recommend that you let NVIDIA decide what you're going to do here. Please go ahead and let NVIDIA decide what you're going to go ahead and do with this option. Do not turn it on. Do not turn it off. Put it on. Let NVIDIA decide. So let it auto detect what it needs to do. Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to your YouTube channel if you're new year. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, it takes a lot of dedication making these videos since Warzone 2, 2.0, whatever the fuck you want to call this game right now, is completely fucking broken. So we have to jump through hoops to get this game up and running perfectly fine. And I'm really, I feel quite bad for people out there that's having all these issues that they have to fucking watch videos to be able to get their game running but that's why i'm here i'm here to help you as best i can ladies and gentlemen if you would like to support my youtube channel become a member i'm going to make exclusive videos for my members only where i go way more in depth with settings inside your windows game settings game tweaks and all of those beautiful things ladies and gentlemen as always i hope this helped you and peace out